In 48, when we formally established our state, our Prime Minister at the time, the first Prime Minister, David Ben-Gurion, used the opportunity of having based heavily on social development, if you like, social, cultural, religious, in order to establish a political structure. That's very uh, important to understand. When your professor is dealing with uh, Israeli-Palestinian issue and trying to compare political aspects, the one thing it lacks very much in the Palestinian society is building the politics on the basis of social uh, uh, solidarity. That's extremely important to understand the Israeli society. Now, after the Holocaust, uh, uh, when Jews from Europe arrive in anyhow to the newly born state in Israel in 48, only three years after the Holocaust, in the case of Hungary, it's really critical because the Jews here were the last to be sent uh, to the camps and to the, to the death in 44. Uh, right after that, people like my mother, for example, who were grown up here, uh, succeeded to arrive in 48 and actually to beginning their life from the very beginning again, to re uh, invent their life again. Now that means that arriving to a different uh, region, different climate, uh, the whole world totally had changed. That one uh, section of the people. The other section, due to the Declaration of Independence, Jews from Asia and Africa, from Arab countries, have excluded from their countries because of the uh, building of a Jewish state. So they have to come to and to have a shelter as refugees in the newly born state. So all of a sudden we have a combination of Jews that arrive from the entire world to create a new nation. Now, you can imagine, I don't want to go into Hungarian politics, but if I just mention the issue that we have with Transylvania, so many years, you understand how difficult it is to uh, arrange your relationship domestically and with your neighbors in terms of identity and culture and so on. So all of a sudden, people from Morocco and people from Hungary and people from Iraq and people from uh, Kafkaz and people from, from, from England and the US arrive to a new land and have to establish a new society. The secret of the success, and then I'm saying in retrospect, not at that time we didn't know it would succeed, was that our language is derived directly from the Old Testament. So every Jew, wherever he is, knows the language. And the language, uh, <coughs> ancient as it is, are the same language that we're speaking today. So that was the main line that connected all the Jews together. In addition to that, just to make it more complicated, 20% of our population are Arabs, Israeli, but Arab. Those Arabs decided to listen to David Ben-Gurion a day after the independent war and to become an Israeli citizen. Yesterday they had, we had a war, some of them ran away, some of them stayed and became Israeli citizens. They are 20% of the population, non jew in a Jewish state, okay? Now, take all this together in a situation that we are under constant, I would say, uh, uh, at that time it was a war, but uh, definitely not peace with our neighbors, and you got immediately kind of uh, constant pressure on people that just decided to have their own nationality and independence. That was the situation. And to be more uh, accurate, uh, the economic situation at the time was awful. When I was a kid, there was not enough food. We had to eat according to tickets that we get uh, from the government offices, the 
Ministry of Finance, and we didn't have any products to it, uh, and that was a really a time of crisis. Then I'm talking about the end of the 40s, beginning of the 50s. That altogether put the people under pressure, both in economy, both and uh, uh, even security at the time, and create a special atmosphere of, if you like, Troya at the time, that after the Holocaust, and that was the raison d'etre to establish a Jewish state, we must do anything in order to preserve this state. Now, picture the situation, try to picture it. Jews don't know where this land is leading to, and Jews decided, due to the sociology, to establish a democracy and mean it, which is not easy, under state of war all the time. Jews from Asia and Africa, or from Arab countries, didn't know the tradition of democracy. They had to get used to it, on the move. Uh, even Jews from Eastern Europe not always knew a lot about democracy, definitely from the former Soviet Union. And we have to build everything by a move. And that created a very special, unique, I would say, democracy, democracy, young democracy in terms of age, on basis of ancient culture, facing the new reality of a changing world in the region, in the Middle East. And there's no time to have philosophical debates and uh, discourse about human rights, if you like. We have to survive, okay? With the situation as it is. And that what happened during the 50s. And again, another historical decision that David Ben-Gurion took was to take the money from Germans after the Holocaust. There was a lot of demonstration in Israel. People are, was bitterly against it. They said, how can we forgive the Nazis after they had done? And Megurion, with his practical uh, view, said, if we would like to establish a state on a basis, in a truly basis, good economical foundation, we need to go and try to normalize as much as we can the situation in the Germans. That was critical for the economic future of Israel because after, and we're talking now about the, the trial that had to Eichmann uh, four decades ago in Jerusalem, and the awareness of the Israelis, you have to bear in mind that many Israelis who grew up, who were born like me, like Benny, I assume, who were born in Israel, <coughs> We didn't have the experience of our family. I could never understand my mother's experience in Budapest in 44 under the Nazi regime because I wasn't there. I can hear the stories. I know that most of my family was destructed here, but I, I wasn't there. And most of the young Israelis were Israeli. They didn't know the, the situation before. We grew up in a different era. So these payments from Germans, this trial of Eichmann, brought to the attention of the young Israelis what happened in the Holocaust. We didn't know about it. We simply didn't know. We learned in school, but we didn't realize. And that opened both the awareness to that and also trying to bring the economy to a better situation. That moved basically towards the 60s. In the second half of the 60s, the economy was still bad. There was recession in 66 and 67 because the money didn't arrive yet from the German. So the basis were social thinking, national and shaping a new identity of somebody free, independent, connected to the land, 
And as I said before, the political uh, aristocracy were coming out of those uh, people. Most of those people came from Eastern Europe. Poland, some of them from Hungary, some of them from Russia, and they were the leading elite within the population, the very, very complex population that actually made what became the Israeli uh, identity. And the leading thinking, political thinking, social thinking of what was represented in the Labour Party were pictured as elite from the kibbutz, elite, socialist elite, building the country, building the army, and the pioneering uh, notion in Israel, and that was identified as the, I would say, uh, the role model of Israeli that we will expect it to have. The idea where was we, like any recruited society that built its myth, we needed a story, a role model to follow. And we were a young nation. A guy that his parents came from Morocco and couldn't know what happened there. That was during the 50s and the 60s. Now, as much as this elite, leading elite, of the social or labor party, if you like, led the country. By the time, different leadership in the population was not always accepting that kind of leadership. Why? Because in the 50s, my wife is from Morocco, okay? So it's a very good uh, relation between Hungarian and Moroccan at night. And she came in 61, and uh, usually Moroccans went to the areas of the border, in the north and the south. They were less sophisticated, let's say, from the people who came from Europe. And by the time, after 10, 15 years, where they were integrated, they felt that their share in the leadership should be much bigger. It's not makes sense that a Jew from Russia necessarily knows better than a Jew from Morocco. It, and they started to build a political power 